the only thing that moves the motorcycle. It's the only thing that touches the ground. It's what the rider feels constantly. And it's a really, really important part of the suspension. We have four or five rear tires that the guys can choose from, and we have about two or three fronts. One thing about a front tire, it's a much narrower tire. It's used to steer the motorcycle. Think about it as almost a knife or a knife edge because it's so much narrower. The rear tire is the only one that actually moves the motorcycle since our motorcycles are only rear wheel drive. We tend to have a lot of power in these engines, so it's really important to have a lot of traction. So by doing that, you have to go to a much bigger, wider tire. We have to consider a lot of conditions when you're choosing which tire to run. What kind of weather you're dealing with, what the dirt condition is, and if anything's gonna change throughout the night. There's many ways to get more traction out of a tire. I mean, you can do it with different compounds, you can do it with different patterns, you can do it with different constructions and how the tires are manufactured. Some riders might want a tire with a lot of traction, what we call a little bit extra grab, and then other riders just want the tire to float a little bit. So based off of that, you can change pressures and actually sometimes change the pattern of the tire too. Some tires are more flexible than other tires, but that's not always a great thing, getting a very fast triple jump and he's trying to scrub a jump, you don't want the tire flexing too much because it might literally be able to slide off the side of the face of the jump. One of the main areas that we get the most feedback and the most concern from riders is in the whoop section. How it flexes over each one of those whoops, how it gives the ability to drive the motorcycle forward without kicking and bouncing. Some whoop sections actually will rut up and when that happens, some of the riders would like to go to a little bit more narrow tire that might not deflect off the side of those ruts. If a rider's a little bit taller, a little bit heavier, he's able to maybe get back further on the bike and load the tire more so he can get away with a little bit more tire pressure. A lot of technique that you people have seen over the years is brake sliding. They almost want it to skid and help them turn quicker. So a tire that has a lot of traction or a lot of flex to it will probably not skid steer as easily.